I love you, green sleeves. Green sleeves, I love you. And it is said that in that castle in Wales at night, when the moon is full and the wind is whistling through the castle walls, they swear that if you listen quietly, if you listen quietly, you can hear the words whispered, I love you, I love you, green sleeves. Alas, my love, you do me wrong to cast me off discourteously, for I have loved you so long, delighting Given menial work, treated like a slave, the Duke of the Castle had a beautiful young daughter, a curvy, green-eyed, strawberry blonde of seventeen. The two fell madly in love, a servant and the princess, the prisoner and the lady, the noble Spanish captain, a hijo de algo, a hidalgo and the lady. They would make love on the new springtime grass behind the castle in the woods, but telltale green grass stains on the lady's white sleeves and woods made the servant's tongues wag. The Duke of the Castle heard the gossip, shipped his daughter off to an overnight's marriage bed, told the captain falsely that the daughter had betrayed the young Spaniard, then handed the captain from Castile to his headsman who would chap at dawn. By flickering candlelight, the young captain penned his final words to his love. Sometime later, Sir Walter Raleigh found the letter and overcome with deep emotion, wrote this song we know today. We know today. Farewell, adieu to God, I pray to prosper thee. For I am still my lover, true. Come once again and love with me. Great sleeves are all my joy. Green sleeves was my. And it is said that in that castle in Wales at night, when the moon is full and the wind is whistling through the castle walls, they swear that if you listen quietly, if you listen quietly, you can hear the words whispered, I love you, I love you, green sleeves. Green sleeves was all my joy. Green sleeves was my delight. Green sleeves was my heart of gold and love at my. Oh, green sleeves, 
Come on.